Welcome back to Act Local, a series where we're traveling around in this old bus, meeting the people of Australia, doing amazing things in their community to protect our natural world. And today, we're gonna hang out with POW. POW, 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 POW. More specifically, Protect Our Winters Australia's lead advocate, Sam. Remember when I talked to Surface for Climate? Yes, of course you do. If not, watch that video, come back here. Similar to what Surface for Climate do for the surfing community, POW, do it for the snow community. POW, 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 POW. Does that make sense? Yes, it will as you watch more of the video. <sighs> Protect our winters. Pow. Okay. Protect our winters, or Pow, is a global organisation that was started by Jeremy Jones, the, the pro snowboarder who's uh, from California in the States. Jeremy was uh, skiing around the world, helicopter skiing, riding big mountains, uh, you know, Alaska, British Columbia, and every year seeing you know, glaciers recede and, and the snowpack change and uh, that the environment was changing. And then also started Protect Our Winters. Protect Our Winters Australia got started up in 2018. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're, we're independent, but we align with their mission and we, uh, we're here to, to do POW the Australian way. I also like that POW, uh, a great snowboarding slash skiing term. The POW. Yeah, the POW. The POW, pow that sits that's, on that's, top. That's the snow that everyone wants to ski. Yeah, that's exactly right. That fresh POW POW. Fresh POW. Are you saying POW? So I got involved with POW a bit over two years ago. I became the president of the chapter here, or we call it lead advocate. Uh, but I'd, I still wear uh, another few hats, one for the leading up the partnerships team and another for the policy team. So five volunteers we started the year with and we're at about uh, 25 volunteers now at the moment with um, people helping us out with policy, partnerships, education, design, media uh, and also starting to build out some really grassroots local alliances. Um, so some really cool crew coming together in, in Jindy uh, and the like. So yeah, we've, we've, we've grown quite significantly this year as a, as a bunch of volunteers. Let's get like right down to the basics of it. I know like global warming, the snow's going. What else are we seeing here? As the globe warms, uh, as we you know approach 1.5 degrees of warming, 1.5 degrees of warming to the ability to for it to snow and for us to make snow is really impactful. You know, less so than in the in in Europe and in um, the US because it's so bloody cold. But still, it's impactful for them. Europe last year had a heat wave through the middle of their ski season and wiped out weeks seen, of skiing. I think I saw footage of people like literally just like the snow resorts trying to make like a driveway length terrain for people to navigate, and it wasn't really a snow season. It was just a hill. A dirt hill with a little bit of snow, kind of. Yeah. Is it, was that Which, last year? I feel like I've yeah, seen no, that, that a lot. Like, like over the over Northern the Hemisphere year. season, yeah. And our our season was just off to a pretty bad start. Now it's near impossible to go. Ah, uh, you know, this season this season started off really bad because of climate change. Because fifty percent of the time we don't have a good start to the season because um, you know it, it's just the way that the weather systems work here in Australia. But what we do know is that now, you know, we've got La Nina, El Nino, the last two seasons, especially last one was La Nina, lots of precipitation, cold, great start of the season, started a week earlier. Probably going into a El Nino, drier, less precipitation. That weather system, El Nino, La Nina, is happening uh, more frequently, swinging between the two, and more extreme, due to the impacts of climate change. Yeah. So the CSIRO came out with some research on that recently and the connections and it, it's as the climate uh, warms that swing is happening more and more frequently which means that for us we're going to get more inconsistencies in the seasons um, and this is from my background of not working in the space and just learning as I'm going yeah, as yeah. we all are yeah. we're heading for a future where it's more inconsistent and it will get to a point where there's just not enough snow for a, for a, for a ski season um, unless we reverse global warming. What's some of the things that you are doing on the ground at either the ski um, resorts and, and mountains? We're not there at the moment. No, we? we're I in wish we were. I sunny don't think, Melbourne. Yeah, I don't think the old bus would make it, unfortunately. What are we up to? So we've got a theory of change, and our theory of change is pretty much if we build cultural change, partnership with business and political will, we can achieve our goals of protecting winter here in Australia and around the world. A lot of the stuff that we're doing, uh, starting to ramp up on the ground is around community engagement. Recently done a really great film tour with uh, a really great crew led by Cameron Wood out of Jindabyne called Steep Reflections, supported by a bunch of really cool um, brands as well, such as the North Face. The underlying things that have been around, you know, this is at risk due to climate change and, um, and raising awareness around that. But also importantly, around the awareness of um, how beautiful 
the Australian and unique the Australian backcountry is, which a lot of people don't know or don't see, or many don't get to experience because we're uh, very heavy on the resort skiing here in Australia. We're about positive messaging and we're about, um, you know, sharing this information with people and then helping connect them to what they can do about it. Like, you know, if you, if you um, give people the information and affect their heads, you connect it with what they love doing, skiing their hearts, and you give them something to do about it, their hands, then that's how we all come together to you know, make an impact. And that's what we're working on. We're not going out going, rah, rah, rah. you're not going to be skiing in 2051. If things keep going that way, because you know, no one's going to want to listen to you. I mean, the, that's been the whole, if people were scared by climate change, we would have done something about it by now, but we haven't. So, um, or we're not, we're not doing enough fast enough. So we're here to connect, help connect people with what they love doing and then the ways in which they can influence the people that they can influence, whether it be their local politicians, people that they work in business with, um, the, the industry to be a voice so that we can push for the, um, the, the action that we need to see, which is fast and more aggressive so that we can um, you know, protect our snow and protect our winters in Australia. Not everyone lives on the snow fields. And yes. you, I feel like because of that, they say, not that it's not my problem, but I can't help as much as someone, an absolute frother that lives full-time in Jindy, full-time yeah. falls. What do you say to these sorts of people? What can they do from outside of the uh, snowy villages yeah. to help? And, and most actually volunteering for power don't live in, yeah. in the, on the hills. Uh, so that's their way of, of, of giving, of being involved. What we want to do is take what is a, a very a clearly uh, passionate group of people whose thing that they're passionate about is, is highly impacted by climate change and, and global warming and take that passion and help turn it into purpose. And there's, there's right ways to do that and wrong ways to do that and we're really spending some time in the background thinking and designing how we can do that in a constructive way so that we can take this awesome passionate cohort and um, help, help, help them uh, and our community be an outsized force in climate action in Australia and globally. Climate change affects the snow everywhere. There's global warming, not Australia warming. Yeah. And you know, Australia contributes significantly to, to global warming per capita. And also we do a lot of exporting of climate change yeah. through gas and coal. Yeah. So what we ask is if anyone's wanting to, you know, stay tuned, then it's just going to our website, having a look at what we're about and what we're, what we're doing, our mission, our vision, and then sign up to our newsletter. Uh, and then we'll keep people clued in with, with how, we, how we're going to organise our community to, to make the impact that everyone wants to. I don't know what else to say. It's very good. <laughs> it's very good. Just to wrap up, what's your favourite drink at Apriski? <laughs> um, an Aperol Spritz. Oh! Yeah. Oh, I know. Sorry, hang on. I've got a better answer yeah, for you. Go, yeah. <laughs> Ask it again. Yeah, okay. What's your favourite drink at uh, Apriski? Uh, a Pow Pale Ale by Bright Brewery. It's a crisp, beautiful end of day drink, which the proceeds go to Pow. There it is. I was going to say, what is this, sponsored ad? But it makes more sense. You get the Pow, what is it? Say it one more time. Uh, a Pow Pale Ale by Bright Brewery. Pow Pow. pow. It's a pretty good app, wasn't it? Pow, pow, pow. And how impressive was Sam? <laughs> Very impressive. If you would like any more information about POW, Protect Our Winters, or anything else they're up to, go and visit their website. And if you know a local legend doing amazing things in their community, oh, I'm exhausted. If you know another local legend doing amazing things in their community, drop us a line in the comments down below. Okay, here we go. Big one. <laughs>